title is why should we celebrate christmas why should we celebrate christmas praise the lord we celebrate christmas not because it was the day that jesus was born but it's a day that is set aside to appreciate jesus so get that right a lot of people skip christmas they don't share in celebration of christmas because they feel that is a pagan festival praise god so when it comes to christmas no cake no jollof rice no turkey they don't want to partake of it praise god because they believe that it's a pagan festival i sat back and i thought about it if it's a pagan festival and Jesus is mentioned among the pagan. Then I want to be part of it. Am I speaking to somebody? If everybody says it's a pagan festival. And Jesus is the center of the pagan festival. Because the Bible makes us to understand that for this reason it came. And I want to believe strongly that it came because of the pagan. So that they will know Jesus. I was saying to one of my sons yesterday. Our neighbor opposite us happened to be an Hindu. And they put this Santa and decorated their house for Christmas. And I said, I love this. And he said, Mom, why? why? They, they are not. Uh. I said, at least they know that there is a celebration. Yes. And they want to be part of it. We as Christians cannot be part of their own celebration. But they want to identify with us. Because there is something about the birth of Jesus. Can I hear the loudest? Amen. Amen. So please, I want to encourage you, don't skip Christmas. Don't be one of those people and two religious people who say, ah, Christmas. No, 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 no. Nothing like Christmas. And they tell their children. And that's why, you see, when your children are growing up and they find out that you are not celebrating Christmas, they break away from you. Because they want to join in the celebration of jesus hallelujah. hallelujah okay let's go on christmas is not the time we just exchange and receive gifts or a festive period a lot of people believe that christmas is once a year you exchange gifts some of you have not called your mom for one year it's christmas some of you have not seen your uncles your auntie but because it's christmas what do we do we send our beloved cats. We send them chocolates. In fact, I was passing by the, uh, by the aisles of chocolate yesterday and I find out that it's empty. <laughs> because we have to buy chocolate for our loved ones. Christmas is more than that. Right. Hallelujah. Okay. Why should we celebrate Christmas? One. We should celebrate Christmas because a savior is born. We don't know the dates. We don't know the month. But the fact that the savior birth is mentioned during this time, then we need to celebrate. Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Then talking about Christmas, it's a time that we need to be thankful. Because it's a 12th step journey step number one began in january and we are ending we are on the last step of the year which is the 12th step so for me to celebrate if i start a journey i don't know about you and that is why you see that when children go to school from primary school and uh, from nursery and they want to go to primary we have some schools that does the graduation they celebrate even in Africa now, they celebrate. It's not like the time we were growing up, that you finish nursery, you finish secondary, nobody to celebrate you. But this day, that we have to wear gown from nursery to primary, just to celebrate. The time of Christmas is the time you need to just think about the first ladder, which is January. Some people are so fearful when they started this year. They did not have hope. Maybe because of what the doctor said 
to you. You didn't have hope of job. You didn't have hope of children. You didn't have hope of marriage. You didn't have hope of your paper. By the time you got to the third ladder, by the time you got to the fourth ladder, by the time you got to the fifth ladder, by the time you got to the seventh and the eighth, there are things that you thought could not happen. And miraculously, the Lord has done it. And when we celebrate Christmas, all we need to do is to look at the beginning of the ladder and look at where we are in the ladder. And all we want to say is to thank you to God. Am I speaking to somebody? So it's not just giving gifts. So I'm giving you gifts because I have to do it. But I am thankful because at the 12th ladder, with Jesus is the center of the 12th ladder. Am I speaking to somebody? Jesus is the center of the 12th ladder. Because at the, at the 12th ladder is when we celebrate. We don't know the date. We don't know the month. We don't know the hour that he was born. But it's, it's passed down from one generation to another. That at the 12th ladder, we need to thank God. All we are doing is looking back from where we are coming. And where we are, and all we want to say is thank you. Am I speaking to somebody? You may be seated uh, here today. And you said, apart from waking up and going to work, there's nothing God has done. In these 12 months, I even struggled to come to church today. In fact, I'm not happy with myself as I'm seated. We have people like that. But can I say something? There are people, as I'm speaking, if they are to pay, like I always say, to see this Christmas, they have the money. If they ask them to pay 20 million in pounds, telly, they will pay it. They prepared for Christmas, but they didn't see today. So the center of Christmas, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, should be what? Come on, wake up. Should be what? Should be what? Should be what? Should be what? Why? You started the first ladder. And now you are on the twelfth ladder. Knowing fully well, it's time to cross over and to begin another journey again. That you will end simply. Can I hear the loudest amen? Can I hear the loudest amen? Can I hear the loudest amen? Okay. The time of Christmas again. Let's speak.